But this one, they call the Senior Citizens Grant. It is a grant that is meant to be given to the older persons of age 65 and above, uh, save for Karamoja, where the government, in its wisdom, chose to, to, to go by the 60 years of age because of their vulnerabilities and their historical, um, uh, the, the, the history that they have gone through for lagging behind and all that. But uh, in essence, the government of Uganda is implementing a very, very good program. And uh, unfortunately, this is being implemented with only a few disputes. If I just have to go to the background of the Senior Citizens Grant, um, our partners uh, tried to actually awaken us to the fact that development is not about objects. It's about the people. You may do good roads, you may do, you may construct very good classrooms, you may do everything, but for as long as the people are not, their welfare is not catered for, then development will take time. People will never even appreciate the objects you are, you are making. So when government was alerted about this aspect in development, because this is a new aspect that is, is coming on the world in, the term, in, in terms of development, where uh, governments are supposed to take care of the people specifically and not necessarily just construct roads and do these other things. So government had earlier even committed to the, uh, to the Livingstone Call to Action, which, uh, which actually uh, obligates government of Uganda to give senior citizens grants so that these people can uh, afford to take care of themselves, they can afford to take care of the people who stay with them. The same government has signed <coughs> the African Union Protocol of Social Protection. The same government of Uganda had, had uh, in, the, in its manifesto of 2011-2015, committed that they are going to give money to the older persons for supporting their, their vulnerabilities so that they take care of their welfare and the children they live with. In the NDP 1 and NDP 2, government is committing. In the Vision 2040, government is recommitting. The memorandum that the government of Uganda signed with our development partners who offered to start <laughs> us on this senior citizens grant was a commitment that in the five years of piloting, the government of Uganda will have come up with a strategy to roll out this money to the other older persons in the districts where they were not piloting, because the memorandum was committing government to counterpart, counterpart fund for the piloting in 14 districts. To us, this was very good. That government uh, saw this very viable, and of course, uh, for, for it to account to its people that they mind about the welfare they committed, the government committed itself, and it's a political tool, by the way. It's a political tool. To win tool. votes over there. To win votes. So if FDC came in power, they would still do the same. FDC had it in, in its manifesto. Actually, FDC had offered 50,000 per month. DP had it in its manifesto. That's why I call it a political tool. They know that these older persons did to us a great deal, because most of them participated in the independence All right. of this country. So if FDC had been voted in power, the old people would be getting 50,000? They, 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 right they have uh, promised. Like right now, we can afford 25,000, but FDC had <coughs> promised 50,000. Well, maybe people will know how to make their choices in the future. Sure. I can't believe it. Honorable Jacob Opol, can you run us through the districts where this is active? And also explain why government is, not, is still reluctant to put in money. Most of this money is still from products. They give empty classrooms to use other offices, very little else, not even paper. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I think the, 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 the issue is not that the government is reluctant, but it's based on the, uh, the size of our past and the, and the pressures. But uh, so far, uh, uh, the SAGE program is uh, in... Uh, I would say first 14, now 15 districts, given the addition, the recent addition of, of, of Yumbe. So the, 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 the 14 are Chenjojo, Chegegua, Chiboga, Chankwanzi, Apach, Kole, Katapi, Kaberamaido, Moroto, Napak, Nakapiripirit, Hamudat, Nebi, 
Zombo and then in the 15th, which is in uh, the center vision, as I said, uh, uh, Yumbe. And uh, I, I, I think uh, uh, with the, 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 the achievements and the and, and progress so far made in the, in the, in the pilot districts, it is evident that the uh, government is convinced that this program is, is very good because it, it ensures inclusiveness of the elderly uh, in, in, in participating in the development of this country. Because you see, money we may talk of 20 and you think it's small, but for a village person who has not known uh, any regular honey, it's, it's a big thing. All right. And for us, our, our investments may be looking at things that are bigger. But for them, something small can still be uh, planted and to much place. So, uh, with more, more, more engagement with government and the, the, the benefits being evident, I think uh, uh, government is increasingly appreciating adding more money uh, uh, for uh, uh, expansion. 14 districts plus one, that's 15. We have 100 districts. We might get a few more if God is on our side soon. We have, we have more than 100. 112, actually. If we pray hard, we could get another 25. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about the ones that we have now. Are we expecting to get this program extended to some of the others? But um, uh, what I know is uh, we, we just, I think, as a government, have to be cognizant of the fact that the, 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 in the 14 districts, 90% of the money that goes to the 14 districts is given to us by development companies. If we are in church, wouldn't we give time? Because this money comes to the economy. It is part of the GDP growth that the Minister of Finance announces every year. And if only we could get out of 14 and add two districts per year, I think we would account for it. And uh, secondly, what does it require us to roll out? It's not a big thing. The recent Shampanzi the Minister of Gender was uh, requesting the members of parliament <coughs> to support him because he has come up with a rollout plan where he can begin by rolling out to 100 older persons per sub county in the whole country. That's Honorable Karol. Or Honorable Madada, who is the Sleman, state minister, yes, the line yeah. state minister, and that it required him only 34 billion. 34 billion to a budget of 10 trillion, to me, I think, would really serve as a purpose. And what we forget to think about is that actually we are not supporting older persons. We are supporting the three million children who live with them. Because in Uganda statistics show that over three million children live with older persons, most of whom are orphan children. And if we did not take care of this, we are going to have a, a, a lost generation because they will not get nutrition, they will not get good health, they will not go to schools, so who are we going to pass over our, our mantle to if we get this kind of lost generation? So the, the, the fact is that for us to call on government, our colleagues in government, because we are part of it, that they should mind about this especially. <coughs> well, listen, this is Petra Marijua tonight. Can you then uh, sustain the senior citizens' grand scheme? I mean, shortage of resources and the demands to make it countrywide. Uh, that's terrible, Flavia Kawahenda. Take it district woman and he also chair person of the Uganda Parliamentary Program of Social Protection. And Honorable Jacob Oplo, chair person of the test of parliamentary group. He's also MP of Palace account. You'll be able to call it at some stage. Honorable Jacob, what exactly does this money have? Uh, uh, what exactly do these people use it on? They get 25,000 every month. When you look at the actual usage, how do they split it? 25,000 is a plate of political. Yeah, it is a plate of food in the capital because for you, you are at, at another level. But uh, it is uh, very interesting to know that uh, in the villages there in Katakui or Kaberamaido, uh, these uh, older persons are able to do a lot more than a mere plate of food. What do they do? Because they are able to, 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 to contribute to group savings, they are able to... to, 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 to to buy some, themselves uh, some basic items for home use, so uh, paraffin, matchbox salt, they're able to, to meet their medical needs, and also once in a while uh, pay their transport uh, uh, bills to, 
they go to the relative or, or visit a friend. And, uh, you know, uh, there is also that uh, investment. You know, people buy chicken and uh, and uh, rare it multiplies. So someone some is able to buy a goat. Some have started farms. Yeah, yeah, I would not even call a farm, yeah, but uh, goats can be a farm. Yeah, uh, buy goats. Then uh, within uh, a few months, you have you have a cow, and uh, this is it is expanding. And when you go, like I mentioned, group savings, they 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 lend each other <coughs> rotationally. People have been able to improve their houses from a uh, thatch to uh, a simple uh, five sheet house, and even somebody, even 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and somebody is able to shift away from this routine touching of the house or or the really inconvenience, uh, especially during the rainy season. No, and you know, even the small business, especially for the for the for the women, I was I was somewhere when we went to 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 to, to, to see the real experience in the field. Some old woman came with the roasted granuts and the people were buying. Above 60. Yeah. Yes. She sold her own piece. Yes, she came to the, to the, 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 the paying center. The pay point. Yeah, the pay point. And she was happy. Uh, her granuts, she was selling people bought. To the old people. Yes. Her, her fellow yes. old And that is, that is, that is the business and that you cannot believe. That's we, remarkable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one of the other things I've heard is that uh, people have been able to ask people to dig for them in their gardens. They have money to pay them. Yes, people can go yes, yes. yes. People, people, first of all, the, even the older person on their own have the confidence to tell you, please, can you clear for me this uh, this piece of my garden? Because they know. And they he have says, I will pay. Even you, who will be what going to do it, will be very sure that this person has some money somewhere. So you can see that kind of, and that is really uh, brings up the level of dignity of such people because they can engage people uh, with the trust. They can come back to public. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Honorable Flavia, let's talk about resting. Some people have said it's restored their resting. In the past, they thought well, they were only going to wait to die. Now they can go and talk in the public square. Talk to us a little bit about what does it mean. You know, um, the, the, the first district which I visited that was implementing this uh, SAGE program it was Chiboga. When we went to Chiboga, the first lady we just chose at random and we asked, what did you do with the first money that you got? And this lady told us, you know, me I had withdrawn from public and I had gone back to private because I did not think I was fit to come to public. The first money you gave me, 25,000, to be honest with you, I bought hair dye. Oh. I did my hair. The hair. old woman, the old woman she, she bought this. She still wants to look beautiful. <laughs> She went to the hair salon. She sat went to do her hair well. She bought some jellies and, and uh, some gomasi. And uh, now she can sit in a public meeting and even in yes. the front seat yes. and contribute. And, to, and uh, to, to, to any social worker, that may not come in your mind that even if I do these income generating activities and force people to do this and that, there is something that may remain hanging which we never see that self-esteem is part of development. And for as long as you are dealing with people who have no self-esteem, they will never appreciate any developments. Secondly, I wanted to build an Honorable Jacob's argument. If we, we chose the 30% rich persons of Uganda, and you ask even me, how many of us send 20,000 to your mother or grandmother every month? How many of us? We wait for them to get sick, we wait for them to die, in most cases, you never remember that this person may need 20,000 every month. Government is knocking on our door because Africa has a rich culture. We are supposed to look after these older persons. So for anyone to say it is little money is, I think, unfair because government is only supporting you to manage it. You are supposed to look after this older person 100% as a son, as a grandson, but do we do it? Now government has come with 25,000, you need to add 75. Because the rich culture of Africa obligates us to look after these older persons. So government is just doing a part. And we cannot say it is little money. All right, we'll look at, we'll look at those sociological issues as well. But let's talk about this woman. The first 25,000 was to restore her rest. Yes. What did she do with the, the subsequent? So the subsequent money, because we now pay them 50,000 per two months, uh, oh, you to, don't to, do cut, it to cut on the administrative okay. costs, we now take to them money for two months. It won't burn out. Yes, see you after and, two and months. see you after two months. And she bought 
a figlet. When she bought a figlet, by the time we reached her, because Chiboga has been implementing this for about three years, she had turned, she had the, 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 the figure, she had the goats, she had the cow, and she was flourishing. But the first thing she worked about her self esteem. And a, and a palm is still in there, she still looks oh. good. She's maintaining that. Figure. No, she's not farming. She's only dying. Because she's dying. Yeah. 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 Let's talk about abuse. Sorry about Jacob. Has this system been abused? How do you manage to send the money without trust into victories? Yeah. And Alisa, in, terms of, abuse. in terms of uh, abuse, the kind of rats that normally uh, uh, encroach on this have not yet been, 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 been reported. There's not sniffles uh, given this uh, mobile money arrangement. Yeah, it's it's each 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 beneficiary has, has 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 a card and it's only you who can access for someone you are authorized to do so. So it has not been uh, possible. Maybe the the, the 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 only thing that could be near abuse is the, where you know some people have to move longer distances and maybe stay for long hours waiting for the pay. I know that could be the one. Let's look at the method. A profile for us. The method. Like how do you do it? And so take us through. Oh, of course, there are, there are pay points where the MTN. The government has partnered with MTN. Yes. It's said by mobile money. Yes. How do they on, 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 they on, on, on certain days? You come, of course, you come with your cash, the pay points. They are you come with your card. They, yeah. they, they, they register them and give them cards. These cards are not like uh, these we put in forms, but these are specifically for them to access this money. Like the debit cards. Card. Card. kind of credit cards. So the, 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 the government partnered that MTN works at some county level, and I think you can now imagine the distance they walk. But for now, that is what we can afford. They come to the sub on a pay day, and each one of them has their card under the armpit. Uh, under the armpit. And we, of course, they are told to keep them safely so that it does not rain on them and those kind of things. So they enter the card, and it reads your balance. If the card is sensed and it reads your balance, you can even save on your card. You say out of you can top up, you can add, you can add more. more. Just give me ten thousand and I go finish this. But I'm trying to pull it for some other investment. Yeah. And uh, it, it is really uh, unless the older person is tricked by people in the family, there cannot be anything about their money. What would come up as a corrupt tendency would come at the selection. But good enough, age is age, it comes automatically. You are 65, you are 65. You can't say, you can't instance, say I can't go there and say I'm 65. No. Because I don't even look. Uh, and even when we are registering, we know that uh, poverty can make someone of 40 look like 70. <laughs> but uh, for that reason, we just say, you, when you are registering, you must prove the age by either a baptism card, a confirmation card, a voter's card, if you have neither. Then you are going to relate to us. The, 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 we have when some landmarks. No landmarks. You say I was born in the in, in the World War Two. I was born at this time, and then, yeah, yeah, and they, they were planting this in that region, and they they, they have them re recorded, and they can tell your age. And if all that fails, the chairperson MC one is supposed to sit a village council meeting, and the the, the, the council vets you. Do you think this older person could have reached sixty-five? If they say yes, he gets the minute and takes it and they register. So, uh, it's, hard to. Is, it's, hard to, it's hard to. So, you, do they get this physical card? Suppose the grandchild picks it up and runs with it. Right? Can't they get the old man? Well, those now are family affairs, but uh, for, for. I mean, a neighborhood still. A neighborhood. And even these, uh, our, 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 our friends, the, the, the motorcyclists, they tend to hike their prices whenever it is paid. Eh? We have got that challenge. And of course, a lot of business come around the payday because there is a pay point where I found they had uh, slaughtered about six bulls and immediately they get the money so that they buy. You know, they know they are coming with money and they have taken now two months without no, eating meat. meat. So they quickly buy, quickly buy, and, and they will try to hike the price. They will move from their usual price of meat because right. they know this has money. So How did you pick on the security of that physical? Can someone steal it and claim the old person? When someone steals the card, they will not access that money. How do you access because what you when this them? money when this older person comes, there is a desk that the older person goes to. First of all, to establish whether it is the owner who has come. 
So he has to be identified. He has to be identified. the card bear. Actually, the card bears the pictures. The photograph. Yes. Let's take a break. We'll pick it up from there when we come back. This is Spectrum. We'll return. Very short. Hi, my name is Peter, and I'm currently sitting in a fridge. We so have to go to meet all these routine videos. I'm here with a tight guy, Hi! 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 That's a deep voice you've got there, Olga. Hey, Stan. Hey, we have so much fun hanging out. I like to talk about that. You know, we can come pick us out of the fridge and we can share our together. One name's on cookbook, so you can share a personalized book with friends. Check him out at the store. Thank you. So for us, you see, the, the biggest thing, the policy, the policy, and actually who is going to manage this, the, the, um, yeah, you see, the, the, the project is working on a directive. The president says give you the, it means it is not sustainable. That's something you people in parliament need to address. So you need to tell us also what measures you are putting in place to ensure that this thing is actually national and not merely in what Welcome back on Spectrum tonight. Can you bend us as the senior citizens? I mean, it's shortage of resources and the demands to make it countrywide. Our guest, Honorable Flavia Kawahenda, Chief of our district group, district woman, and that's the young woman. She's also chairperson of the Uganda Parliamentary Forum on Social Protection, also Honorable Jacob Mokis, chairman of the Chess of Parliamentary Group, an MP from Palisa County, the You will be able to call it shortly. Honorable Flavia, you're telling us, I'd like us to explore the security of this card. If you, the, the card has your physical photograph, you have to appear at a center. They look at your face, they look at your card. They look at your face again and say, this is you, and then they give you the money. And then they, they, they allow you to go to now the, the MTN for you to access money. But there's this desk which must first verify that you are the owner of the card. Why not send the money directly to the card? Every two months, the money is on the card. But because the, the older person can't check the card when she's still at home, he must bring it to the machine. Before you access the machine, they must first establish whether you are the owner of that card. And the machine comes on a specific day. And then he, on the paydays. The and machine, after that, they drive away. They, 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 I think MTN has a way of how they manage that, that money. But they also don't carry cash. They carry this money. Uh, 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 I think in abstract, we cannot, we don't want to, to know virtual. how they, the virtual money, because they only make transfers. You see them making transfers to the card first, and then to to the cash to the to the to the. To the okay, let us make it. So, at what point does the old man or woman actually smell the money? At 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 the point of the machine when the old person puts the card in the machine and it frees his money. They top it up. They 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 they, they, they no, they even. When this older person comes with a, a note, because there are notes that come from the other desk where they first go, and the note says this older person is supposed to have this amount on the card. So the card is put in the machine, and they have already talked. Before they come, there is money on your, on your card, which no, really. you don't know already. So they say, oh, it is the very money that is on your If it is not the very money, they send you back to the desk for you to explain why what they expect to be on the card is not what is on the card. So that we you go and appeal and then they, they rectify. In one day, not two weeks. So well, at times two weeks. It, 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 it depends on the, the gravity of the appeal. Yes. And uh, then after it reads your money, then they swap it. If you accept to withdraw it all, they swap so it, to, they their, it back. To, their, to, their, to their gadgets and then they give you cash. Because it will go back to there. And the border border man is waiting to take and you back. And the border border man is waiting to take you back. You not had problems with security on that side? Not yet. I think we have not had reports about security. Okay. Somewhere, somewhere we were beginning to have some few reports about these uh, money lenders. Money lenders who would go to the older persons 
to, 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 to hoodwink them, that they can give them money in advance and they invest right. so that uh, they are the ones who keep their cards and they can only Asically. they can only give them the cards on the payday okay. so that the money that comes directly goes to them right. and they could hike the interest. Right. But I think we have tried to <coughs> to work on that. You don't do that to all people. Do it to MPs, don't do it. They've done it here in Parliament. You might have We can reach to an MP now. <coughs> you fit the old person. Well, let's look at the gross trajectory. There is a plan to stretch it to the whole country. You need only thirty four billion. Take us through that. Yeah, the 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 thirty four billion yeah. would be to, to 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 expand this to cover one hundred uh, older persons per per sub county, and uh, this would help reach out to the, the, the country and make a, a, all the parts of, of of the country feel they are part of one 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 unit, and this uh, is something really. Uh, the 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 the, the thirty four billion something uh, that should be manageable. That's not a lot of money, by understand. Yeah. So I, uh, since we are we, we are already on this talking amongst ourselves, uh, it, it would be important that we get that amount by reviewing a number of priorities and maybe also uh, emphasizing plugging some leakages so that money is is available because some of this money, uh, if you talk of thirty four, there are some. Uh, uh, projects that uh, waste more than more than. You know, these are very very small amounts. Yeah. But 100 people is a small amount. What, what? How many old people do we have? How much would we, would we need to spread it out? Or not? Actually, we are, we are supposed to have by the latest uh, statistics of 2012, we are supposed to have three million older persons. I'm sure this census could have increased them to a, a little more than that. And uh, I know that it is doable, and that we may not be having only a hundred older persons in a sub county. But what we wanted to do was to to start <coughs> because the principle and uh, the determination for us to roll out we would depict a very good gesture to the people of Uganda that uh, that the government is now committing. It is coming slowly. It has started like this. Actually. We would like to even guide that the 100 older persons should be registered from the most old person, the from, oldest of them, from the oldest, and and, and they come because we have we still have those of 65 and 70 who can really Most have some strong. little energy right. to, to work. So if we started from the, the oldest, I think we would go a long way. Secondly, we are advising that as we roll out, as government takes it, maybe we remove those who are on government pensions because you cannot be paid to salaries from the same consolidated fund because these 14 that are piloting they are inclusive if it was in Hirohora, even his excellence would be getting if it was in the oh he's an old he's regarded as an old man yes i mean 65 is his fellow older old person if we were in Higezi, then Gunda would also be getting so you see but the, in the in these others that, to which we are rolling <coughs> We want to advise that they make it exclusive so that they remove those Only the who are government tour. pension. They, they really go for that. But some system. some of them have rich sons. If you see a man reversing with a Prado every two weeks, don't don't give that old man. He's better. The, the, those are issues that we wanted to look for. But I know that they will come with challenges. Although that would be discrimination because well, he's very full of he has just said that. How many? Yes, he has the question. How many of us see uh, the? Let's look at the NSS. Is there a way they can help to sponsor or to pay or to perfect this scheme? But I think for me, I wouldn't want us to look at NSSF alone. The matter should be put to all Ugandans. First of all, we must all agree that it is our obligation to look after these older persons. In some countries where I have gone, they can flag list an issue. And they, I mean, they make every, almost everybody contribute because they put boxes where people can throw money. They they go to hotels and they say, every person who sleeps in this hotel will leave either 2,000 for supporting the older persons and it is collected and put to that particular. Because in Rwanda at one point I found them collecting money for children that are living with AIDS. And everybody was really, co um, I mean, touched and they would go pushing coins and uh, paper money into those uh, bins that had been spread in the city and the, the hotels were compelled to charge 1,000 extra 
for contribution to the children. It is about government preparing the people of Uganda to understand that they will grow old, those who are not, at one time. If you're lucky. If you're lucky to be there. So, uh, I mean, uh, we are just preparing a safe land, some of us. Right. So yeah. even the young ones should, should take care of it. Young ones they should, should be made. It. Yes, should be made to contribute to us. What about you? What happened to the tradition of family and village support systems? Yeah, the, 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 the challenge uh, that has befallen the traditional family and the social support system is the, 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 this, this, this uh, globalization and the, uh, the commercialization of uh, the society where the, the, the market forces are to play. You know, people have to, 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 to move and work long hours in order to survive. So this has pushed away uh, children from homes in search of uh, uh, economic uh, survival and because they are detached from the families uh, that support that the children give to the families is not, a, is not, a, is not a available but also there has been <coughs> pressure that uh, uh, is, is caused by a number of challenges like HIV uh, which has left many children uh, orphaned and therefore you find that the the, the, the traditional social uh, support, system. As I would say, support system is overstretched because of its specific as one of them. As one because you, you 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 find that now the older persons who who have who, are, who have survived have taken over the burden of of, of of their children who have left uh, for them the grandchildren, and yet these children have to be supported uh, through feeding, through education, through health, clothing, and others. So you find that the traditional old person cannot manage that because most of these things uh, have an economic or financial implication. Therefore, uh, government now uh, becomes handy in, in this situation to come and uh, try to address uh, some minimal or, or level of support in order for them to meet uh, such needs. Like Honorable Flavia said, you find that it, they need, you may be looking at the older persons, but you are actually going beyond the older person and now looking at the children also, which the traditional system <coughs> can no longer support. Honorable Flavia, <coughs> let's look at the special sector once again. Once we liberalize it, how can that provide a systemic value addition structure? Liberalize what? Pension sector. The, the pension sector, this uh, that we are handling in parliament. Yes. I think when we liberalize the pension sector, if we learn from the other countries and how they are managing it, this pension sector will go a long way into looking at uh, managing pension without a, a lot of bureaucracies. This pension sector, if it were liberalized, would even save this country uh, with internal borrowing. Because a liberalized it, pension sector will release a lot of money. Would release a lot of money to the government. Each government may return. I'm sure it's going to attract even a wider spectrum of people who will save with it. Because today they seem to be targeting a, a, a shorter threshold, but we would widen the threshold. We would have a lot of money, and uh, we would uh, even internally then, like it is in Malaysia. But why can't you people liberal? Like, you've been holding it since last week. It's probably been past the year. We are actually handling the bill, and uh, I'm sure I want to assure you that uh, in, 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 uh, very soon we are going to have a report on the floor about the liberalization because we had to consult. Certain people did not understand that the liberalization actually would do, get money from community, more money than what they are getting. It would even remove these barriers that government and other government and, and other MBAs would access it for internal borrowing instead of us being tagged all the time to external, bonds, external right. corporate, bonds. corporate bonds. So give us some more detail about other countries. What's the experience? In in Malaysia they, they liberalized the, 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 the this, this this particular structure. All right. And they're saying each person in Malaysia actually saves money because for them, they, much as there, is the, there are the formal uh, 
formal sectors that take their money to NSSF. This in Malaysia also made sure that even the informal sector, small and medium scale right. enterprises, also serve with NSSF. Even because one man business. Right now it's only five people. They can put anyone to task to give accountability, to give them for the status of the money that they are, that, they are, that the structure is keeping, and everybody in the community is satisfied that their money in the first case is kept well. Secondly, that it can save them of the many loans that government would be taking to especially do grand projects. All right, let's talk about, before we are from the business, let's talk about how other countries handle this side, this social protection. We have countries like South Africa, we, also. We, like we, we have countries country. like Mauritius, we have countries like South Africa, but I loved uh, the Mauritius model. Because in Mauritius, they have a very robust social protection approach. But Mauritius is a rich country. Mauritius may not be rich by the other way we think. They are rich because their community, their citizenry, are allowed to pay tax. In Mauritius, the citizenry is heavily taxed. But the good thing is that they pay it knowing that it comes back to them. In Mauritius, they look after their citizens from the womb to the tomb. And they really pay tax like you can imagine. And this tax comes back to them. Immediately the woman becomes pregnant. Government puts their eyes on that woman. Like until they see the baby out. And that baby will be all, always be, be, be inspected by the social worker. They planted social workers at, lower, at local levels. They move with that baby until it is in school, until you are after school. If you can't get a job. There are some skills they try to, 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 to give to you so that possibly you can attract a job over what, what you possibly are professional in, and they go for a very wide social protection approach. South Africa also has a good one. It is trying to widen theirs because now they can take care of the older persons, the people living with disabilities, PWDs who are not employable, orphan children. They, we learned a lot from them when we went there, and actually Uganda is trying to to go behind South Africa to make sure we also look at the aspects of the susceptible citizens in the country, because when we introduce the orphans and vulnerable children's support, which is also in South Africa, we have the PWDs grants, special grants for going to people living with disabilities, we have grants for women, we have now this for, for, for older persons. I think, yes, we shall slowly be there. But what we implore, <coughs> my, my, my colleague and senior, the Honorable Minister of Finance, is to really look at the people. These people you are talking about, the older persons. You may put electricity, you may do the road, you may do the health center, but for as long as she or he cannot access that, they will never see government. The yeah, older yeah. persons are saying they have just seen government, they have never seen it. At eight years, <coughs> she will not go to the borehole. At eight years, she will not use this road. At eight years, she does not expect electricity in her grass thatched house. So when you brag about these developments, they fail to understand what you mean. Until they can buy their aspirin, until they can buy a book for their children, their orphan children, until they buy salt and sugar, which we never think about, we shall never be a government to them. Well, there have been some young laws. The rest of them have not They don't give them to everyone. Old people don't get it. Older persons, they don't come to rallies either. Let's hear from the listeners. This is for, from our rage. Our number is 031 260390. 031 <coughs> Zero three one two six zero four nine zero. Spectrum Hello. And you call him please switch off your radio so we can hear you. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, your, your name? Uh, your name? Uh, your name? Uh, your name, sir? Is uh, good. But uh, uh your name?
getting concerned. The first person who called was uh, actually complaining that the program was not covering the whole country. For instance, in Bugisu, he does not know any district that is uh, implementing it. He's very right. Bugisu, Usoga, Ankole, Bunyoro, and uh, Chigezi, there is no district implementing there. And I, I, I wish all those people who come from there would learn about this, that it is not there. And uh, the, the, the essence for the Forum on Social Protection was to call on government to really try to go to the other regions, because we, we uh, well, by the census of 2002, these regions looked like they were better than those from which they chose. But today, it may be the reverse, because the poverty status report that was recently presented shows that Usoga is now badly off, and some parts of the other east. And how does it help the older persons? Why don't we promote modernization of agriculture? But I think when you talk about agriculture, you're not talking about the older person of eight years because this person has come out of agriculture. And that is what we are blind about, that the older persons are vulnerable, they have no energy anymore, they are very susceptible, they have bad, poor health. They, 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 I mean, they just want to be looked after. In the countries that have developed, they actually withdraw them and go and look them after them, put people. them in oh, I was going to ask about But that. in Africa, you can't do that. Because our rich culture requires that they stay with us. Otherwise, if we withdraw them, actually they would die early. 
they are used to stay with the families playing with the grandchildren, playing with the grandchildren yeah, feeling and enjoying values. feeling the values so we can't withdraw them the only thing we can do is to support them where they are and of course i i, I want to appreciate the person who called from center that this was good actually one older person told me that the first 50000 he got for two months he he had plowed his field and he bought a team of beans Improved and beans. He planted them and the harvest he got got him 40 iron sheets for his house he had That's never lived he had never lived under an iron sheet roofed house it was the first time at the age of 70 for him to live under the iron iron sheet because he invested, this older person... He invested 50,000, he got 50, how much? 50,000, and well, I didn't ask about the money, but what he said... He got 40 iron he sheets. He bought his 40 iron sheets, and he was showing us the house. That's close to a million shillings for 50,000. 40, 40, uh, 40 iron sheets, if he, he used 32 gauge, are just 20,000. 20,000. It's about 800,000. About 800,000. From 50,000. From 50,000. It could be transformed. So I think these older persons could even act as model to our youths who are now going into the youth life, that even with 25 you can invest and get a deal out of it. Yeah, and, 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 and actually I, I also greatly uh, applaud the person from SETA who called. You see, uh, when <coughs> we think 20,000 means the same across the board, we are missing the point. If you went like to uh, many of these markets, these market women, uh, have stock of start with stock of even ten thousand tomatoes and whatever, but they keep multiplying. You know the problem. Our appetite to to spend the money, uh, some of us makes us think that this money is insignificant. And really, uh, like Rebecca Flavia said, if you now talk of modernization of agriculture, you are even worse than someone who is giving nothing because now you are completely excluding the older persons. And looking at the younger generation, that will actively benefit from from this agriculture, and that's why people come up with many programs that knock out the older persons. It is this kind of belief that twenty thousand is too little to do something. But for us who have worked with communities, we know it's a big push, especially when it is sustained. Somebody is guaranteed that will come. I put in this twenty thousand. Or 25, and the inflation rate it has been covered. We started with 20, moved to 25. But you raise it every year. Yes. So at, after some time, uh, it will always again be reviewed, and uh, maybe it, it, it will go to that. But we didn't start with 25. This is a continuous. Started with 20,000. Right. It has just grown. And there's, there's and uh, something. He said we multiply the profits, and our leaders encourage. Population us. control yes. is our problem, and why do we bring this program at election time? Let's start with population, population control. control is, 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 is population. our greatest problem. I want to really uh, appreciate that. But now when we control population, what do we want to mean? Uh, are we controlling the population of the older persons? Do we want to eliminate them? I don't think he's thinking like that. All right. Because uh, maybe he thought that our population growth is straightening the budget, okay. that the government is failing to, to meet the so, right. problem. We have to go. thank you very much indeed, our guests tonight. Horrible thank you. Too. Yes. Cover hand. Check it with this gentleman and be also chair. Because we got a parliamentary forum on social protection. Thank you very much tonight. And honourable gentleman, we are chair. Because we have chairs of parliamentary for also for policy and constitutional governance. That's true. Thank you for tuning in. I think it was the end one. Up next is the news and knowledge. Special from the back tomorrow. Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. But it's seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the that's my Because there is a of capacity But for these older persons, they to them. Mm -hmm. so, not teaching them how to play a <laughs>